Do I want to talk to that save frog? I don't think that that's really the biggest deal right Maybe I better talk to the save frog. Welcome back to Mother 3! So let's go up these stairs that we were promised in the last episode. And these are most certainly stairs. And this is elevator music if I've ever heard it. This should have been on the elevator. Why is it only in the staircase? And it's just for that part. It's gone already. Hope you enjoyed it. Master Mega Harvin, friends. I have been waiting for you. I've changed my hat, so perhaps you don't recognize me. But I was the chauffeur of that difficult to drive and far too long limousine. Oh, it comes full circle. I'm pleased to see that you've made it this far. I will now determine if you're fit to meet with Master Porky or not. Kindly follow me if you would. I will most certainly follow you to the ends of the earth. Just tell me what you want from me. Master Porky just loves to play fun games, so I'll use this super whack-a-mole game to judge whether or not you're fit to be a wonderful playmate of his. First, allow me to explain the wonderful rules. Whoever hits the most moles with their mental A button hammers will win the game, or the green button hammers, as my handy dandy guitar hero controller may dictate. Master Porky absolutely adores the word win. If the words indulge and humor mean anything to you, you'll know what to do. But if you try to throw the match, Master Porky will be very displeased indeed. Okay, do you understand the rules now? Yeah, you gotta let him win, but you gotta put up a fight about it. Hit the old guy in the helmet and you'll be zapped. Do try to be careful. So I don't want to hit him, ever? Or if I think I'm gonna win, do I want to hit it? Let's bring out Master Mega Harv's competitor, Master Mini Porky. Bring it on, Master Mini Porky. So this is your answer to a child? Is this your child? Ready, Master Mini Porky. Begin! What, I don't get the move at all? Oh, he goes first. So he hit one, one mole. He hit two moles. He got two moles. Wow, simply amazing. You hit a grand total of ten moles. Okay. Alright, you're up, Master Mega Harv. So you know what that means. I must get nine. Got one. Oh, missed that one. Two. Three. Oh, it's that dude. Better be careful. Four. Five. So all these years playing Suikoden 2. This is, it's all led up to this. Oh, that's that guy. I'm up to seven. Eight. Nine. All right, now I'm gonna hit him. Oh, it won't let me. It won't let me have fun. Does indulge mean we're not allowed to win? What does this indulge thing mean? Woof, woof. Oh, that's what Porky says. Time. That's my favorite spice. Now for the results. Hopefully I can count. Master Mega Harv's record. Ta-da! Nine! Nine! Oh my, Master Mini Porky. You've won the intense match by the razor-thin margin of one mole. You can tell that by the green light on his head and by green I mean blue. What a wonderful game. Truly heart-stopping. Truly heart-rending. Now then, let's move on to the next fun and exciting game. I hope this game is every bit as exciting as the last game. I want to talk to the man with the cue cards. I like how there's painted audience around. No problem here. I'd say there's a problem here. This is written on the cue card. Hit nine to lose just barely. Oh, just in case I didn't know how. And it looks like I should be able to walk in those areas, but there's painted on people in the way. Oh, more steps. Allow me to ever so pleasantly walk up these steps. It is an intermission, if you will. Please do grab a soda. All right, things are really heating up now. Yeah, I can tell by the by the sun painted on the wall there that things are really heating up. Oh no, it's cardboard water that I might cardboard drown into. I get it, I got a tightrope walk all the way to the end, but let Master Porky just barely win. 
next is the Purple Bridge Race game. You'll both start from a purple bridge at the same time, and the first to reach the other side wins. You understand the rules, yes? Also, if you have the two words indulge and divulge, perhaps the former would be the one to focus on, if you catch my drift. Do you understand? Uh, yes, I believe I do understand. There's the cue card guy in case I don't get it. Okay, when you're ready, go to your starting position. Let's talk. I don't know why, but this seems really stupid. It's pretty dumb. Is this really what we should be doing? It's just... Apparently it's just a game. Yeah, talk. Maybe I should talk to him anyway. This is written on the cue card. Your fly's open. X, Y, Z. <laughs> You're much manlier now. Perfect. Now the... Now that my zipper is up. Alright, on your mark, get set, and go, is when you start, okay? Alright, on your mark, get set, go, go, go! Huh. <laughs> I love how- can I fall off? No. Can I, like, run off completely? Yeah, I can. Is this really- okay. Oh no, it's- It's, it's neck and neck! I don't know. Really close. Oh no, Jaws got me at the last second. Oh no. Ah, oh, so close. Uh, Master Megaharp, what are you? A turtle? A tortoise? A terrapin? You really should be more serious about this. I'm afraid that I can't introduce you to Master Porky if that's how you're gonna act. What, I was too slow? Okay, I'll try that again. I did definitely linger a bit at the last second. All right, on your mark, get set, and go. So when you start, all right, on your mark, get set, and go. Whee! 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 I wonder if this will still work. Whee! Oh, it won't actually let me go on there. That's a bit, that's too much, is it? That's where you draw the line. Come on, move your move your ass. There, you can't get much closer than that. Oh my, Master Mini Porky. You win the intense match by a nose. What a truly fantastic race. That was a match for the ages. Now then, let's move on to the third and final game. I thought I'd been playing the third and final game this whole time. Apparently, I was mistaken. Sorry, guys. I thought I was playing the third and final game. But apparently, I haven't been. So let us continue to go up these intermission steps with the different light posts in each one just to prove that it's different at all that it wasn't just rehashed dungeon at last we're at the final game please come this way if you would all right i'll come this way after i go through this hole the final game is to whom goes the boom oh is this like balloon burst in mario party 2 all right, here's a quick explanation of the rules. Use your mental A button, air pump, to quickly inflate your balloon until BOOM! The first pop, the first to pop his balloon wins. You understand the rules, right? Yes, I have to soda my balloon second. Then please go to your position. The fact that this porky guy is forcing us to do all this stuff makes me feel like he's a lot stupider and pettier than we thought. You're not wrong. This is the final indulgence, huh? Yeah, probably. Do you have any anything else for me? Your fly isn't open, don't worry about it. Good. No problem here. Oh, it's a scale model of New Pork City. Encased in a rainbow. Oh, and here's a hot air balloon. Which appears to be on the wrong side of the the wall. That isn't your balloon, Master Megaharv. Yours is over here. Okay. Oh, it's gonna manually make me go around. Now then, I'm tripling the points for this final game. This means you have a very good chance of coming from behind to win it all, Master Megaharv. Please try your very best. Okay, I'll try my very best. All right, here we go. Ready, set, go. Come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think that was close enough. Yeah, it appears to have been. Clap, clap, clap. You're so young, yet you've mastered so much. I hereby deem you fit to meet Master Porky. You realize we have a 30-year-old in the party. Now then, please go and pay Master Porky a wonderful visit. I can't remember why I know Duster's in his 30s. Old Cripple H here. This is written on the cue card. Oh, it's still the same. Yeah, I'm not sure why I know that. But I, I'm willing to bet just about anything that I'm correct that he's in his 30s somewhere. I'm gonna try to figure out A, if that's true, and B, where I originally found that. Probably I would have read something either on Starman.net or Earthbound Central. Probably Starman.net. I don't know where else I would have found it unless it was in the game somewhere. Which, hey, could be. Could very well be. Do I want to talk to that save frog? I don't think that that's really the biggest deal, right? Maybe I better talk to the save frog first. Before I talk to that very friendly chap by the door. So save the game. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm being careful, that's why I turned around to talk to you. I give the last frog... I give the last frog his regards to you. The one that was encased in the happy hot spring. The nice guy hot spring. So is this Porky? Mega Harve, welcome to my room. This is the real hundredth floor that you've wanted to come to. Oh, so badly. Again, I welcome you, my beloved detestable pests. I was the one who invited you here. So you're free to come inside if you wish. It's just, I've given orders to let no one enter my room to that little attack toy you see right there. Who knows? Maybe this is where we'll say goodbye, even though I invited you here. All right, let's turn it on. Say hello to the natural killer cyborg. With some pretty decent battle music. The NK cyborg suddenly attacked. So let's try to put this guy away and then I'll probably call that an episode. We're definitely getting near the finale. We're definitely close to... We're about four or five episodes away from the finale. Let's, uh, offense up everybody. What else do I want? Uh, defense down. Actually, I'll offense down the natural killer cyborg to start. And then I will smell it. Lightning. Just lightning. Only lightning. Now, I had... I plan to come on here and be like, you know how people say that it sounds like Michael Jackson's Beat It is in this song? And uh, because I thought I had found another song that it could have been from, but it came out after this. The song in question would be Infected Mushroom Becoming Insane, which came out in 2007, that song. Whereas... You know, this game came out in 2006. So, you know, nice try, Mega Harv. Better luck next time. But yeah, there's one... I just thought it was more appropriate, because you get high on mushrooms. This game... Mother series seems to have, like, a mushroom thing. Anyway. Well, I need to lower his defense some more, wouldn't you say? 37. Can I raise offense with Mega Harve? And Bone Rush was still doing that little? I know I unequipped his collar. But I thought it would do more than that. He probably has a shield I should be stealing. But yeah, Infected Mushroom going insane. It's about five minutes into the song. I recommend you go listen to it. I'm sure you have the means to find music, whether it be through digital download, CDs, or otherwise. So that all being said, I'm going to use a healing Omega Harve. Because that Thud Charm didn't do its trick. Didn't do the trick right then and there. Oh, I'll use Thunder Omega Harve on it. Let's see if I can't get it to shed some tears. I may as well... Yeah, Shield Snatcher, because I'm sure he's got one. No? Well, shows what I know. That's nothing. I ain't no nothing. 300 damage. 460-ish damage. 
I didn't mean to use that. I don't know why I used the Hypno Pendulum. I meant to use the Smoke Bomb. I clearly did not use it. But that was my intent. <sighs> the NK Cyborg that looks like a pig bore down on me. He went hog wild on my party. Uh, let's start attacking. And you... You just give Bone Rush a regular heal. Now use the Smoke Bomb and see if you can do damage now. That's better. This is a smash, but still better. No. Stop wasting turns here shortly. Yeah, 16 hit combo on the NK Cyborg. Self repair system. Well, you're probably not max yet. Anything else? I know, Kitty, I am in. I am in. engaged in Mortal Kombat at the moment. I had some other than Mortal Kombat to say there, but I said Mortal Kombat instead. I thought I still had a saltwater gun, and I do, so I'm gonna use it. Not that there's a good time to use it anymore. It'd be a better time to... Yeah, there we go. Oh, it just goes down the line. Well, you life up everybody. And just keep hitting it. Yeah, let's just keep damaging it. Kitty destroying my house. Kitty! That's not true, it's an apartment. Oh yeah, go, going hog wild again. I'm presuming I actually combo this properly. This may actually be fruitful. Or I could just rush through. Ooh, a counter device. Like a calculator? An abacus would be a counter device, wouldn't you say? I'm having none of your... whatever that was. Shut up channel that I'm not even subscribed to. Alright. Anyways... That's better. Damage. Woo! Another one. Not that it's difficult, but I can be like, Hey, Twitter, look how skilled I am. Little do they know. Um... I mean, it's just regular poison. I'm definitely thinking about all this way too... too much. I just need to start inflicting damage and not screwing up the combos. Oh, come on, Mega Harve. Get it together. At least we're reflecting a little lightning back. Okay, so I need to... what I need to do is heal, and then some sort of counter magic. I find it interesting that this natural killer cyborg takes up more screen real estate than the Empire Porky building, even though it's... I'm pretty sure it's larger. Oh yeah, use another counter device. Oh yeah, just envelop yourself in a counter, why don't you? Allow me to counter your counter with my own counter. moo ha 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 Let's do more of this, because I think it'll be more beneficial. There should be a wrestling referee whose name is Beneficial. What else was I doing? I thought I had a game plan here. But apparently I don't. So I'm gonna hit more with my attacks. 
Oh yeah, this is Shield Snatcher is what I wanted to use. But hey, it's too late now. Yeah, two hit thunder combo. Three hit thunder combo. Four hit thunder combo. I raise your counter with my own party's counter. And I may as well use the shield snatcher. Yeah, how do you like that? 65 damage back at ya! Shield snatcher. Just to save Bone Rush a little bit of damage. Even though he's poisoned. Super focus on killing this guy. I don't know why I'm so exceptionally worried about this adversary. The end of the century beam, eh? Well, I better do life up Omega Harv then. Well, it's a good thing that I had that equipped, wouldn't you say? Yeah, because I don't think I've ever died to this thing. But I'm just super focused on the battle. Or maybe it's the music. Just, I'm so in tuned now. That, and I'm just throwing a lot of combos, and it's not like it's an unmanageable battle. But I am missing all my combos and stuff. So I guess I need to focus a little bit more intensely. Oh yeah, a little, little more... A little more... Electrical shock attacks. Join me for A button mashing my way through this adversary. Which I would say Oh, the counter doesn't isn't reflected by that. Oh yeah, I was using uh, thunder now. That's better. Let the song reset. I thought I was gonna actually get it. Be all like, look at me combo to the song while looking at the camera. But I failed. I, I didn't succeed. I did, however, recover most of my party. And I haven't died yet, so to say that I didn't succeed is a little premature. But that's me. Enough of your counter devices. I'll use my thunder device then, and my shield snatcher device as well. How oh, you like them apples, huh? How oh, you like them thunder apples? I have no idea how many hit points this guy has. I'm gonna guess like 10,000. Probably has like 5,000 normally, but... Smash! That makes a way better Twitter gif. When it starts with a smash, like, who can argue with that? Several missiles. You're gonna need to step your game up, otherwise... Uh, we're gonna beat you. Unless this battle of attrition, I'm just gonna lose, because I'm half paying attention. Yeah, because I do stuff like that. Which isn't helpful. Like, I need to wait for that part of the song to unleash all my thunder. Then Mega Harv will go again. I'm like, bat, 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 five, six, seven, eight. You know, the whole keep your rhythm thing. As I heal back up top. Maybe I need a side counter for that. I don't really want to be swapping my counters back and forth that frequently, however. Yeah, this is better timing, so when Cripple H goes, it'll be a part of the song that's easier to be comboable. I wanted to say comboable, but I said easy first, so then I was like, how do I correct this sentence? And then I was like, screw it, I'll just come clean, which will help me buy time for the song to 
restart over so I can get a combo, hopefully. Eh. Guess it wasn't really necessary. That was the natural killer cyborg was destroyed. And I got a bunch of money. And by money, I am referring to life money, experience money. It's skill currency. Yeah. Blow up. <laughs> Smells like bacon in here. I'm actually just gonna turn around now. And I'm gonna save the game. And I'm gonna stop the episode here. Because I don't think I cut out any random battles and that was long enough. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna have a rest here. And when I'm finished this rest, we'll continue on the Empire Porky building. We're definitely getting closer to our finale. So thanks for watching this edition of Mother 3 Hard Mode with the Guitar Hero controller. I still go by Megaharve. And join me next time!